Hey Divas, this your girl Diva Egg Pay back to you another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are not a subscriber, it's okay. All you have to do is subscribe. Go ahead. You can do it. Subscribe. Anyway, in today's video, you guys, we will be making face mask. Yes, face mask. Okay, divas step one we want to get us two pieces of fabric we want that fabric to measure at nine inches long and six inches wide for step two you want to take some interface that is the same size as your fabric you want to take one piece of your fabric and iron on that interface on the wrong side of the fabric place the interface side down then place your other piece of fabric on top of it with the right sides touching each other. Then we're going to get our elastic pieces. We want our elastic to measure out to be 7 inches long. And then you're going to place your elastic in the corners of your fabric. You want some people use clips. I use pins because clips were expensive and I wasn't going to pay what they were asking for for clips. But anyway, you want to put them about a quarter inch down and you want to repeat this on both sides. You're placing the elastic in the corners of the fabric. You want to make sure that your elastic is flat. You don't want it to have a curl or a bend in it because you don't want it to end up looking like that once you have already sewn so you want to make sure that it is laying flat as you pin also you want to make sure you are doing the exact same on both sides of the fabric because you don't want one elastic band to be longer than the other Okay, divas now it's time to sew so you want to place your fabric on on your seam guide at the line right there before 3 8 not sure how your sewing machine looks but my sewing machine guide looks like this so i posted it so you can see it so you can know exactly where you should place your fabric as you sew When you get to the elastic as you're sewing, you want to make sure that you backstitch over the elastic. The reason being is because the elastic is going to have a lot of tension on it as it is being pulled over the ears. And you want to make sure that your elastic stays secure. going to make the gap where you're going to turn the mask inside out you want to back stitch and make sure that your stitches don't come apart when you're pulling the mask inside out Okay, now we want to cut the corners off of our mask. We want to make sure that we do not cut the thread. That will unravel everything, and we don't want to do that. And then we want to turn our mask inside out. I use my nails to punch in the actual corner to make sure that it's smooth. By the way, y'all, I did my own nails. That video is coming for y'all. I can't wait to show y'all my journey in doing my own nails during quarantine. I'm so excited. Okay, y'all, now that we have our mask all turned.
turned inside out inside in however you say it we want to go ahead and iron those seams down and make sure that they are flat remember you do have a gap that needs to be closed up so you want to make sure that you are folding those seams in as you iron and flatten those down because when you go back to the sewing machine you will close them up Okay, divas now it's time for the tedious part you have to add pleats in the front you want to add three folds to your mask you want to make sure that all your folds are going the same way um, and I can't tell you guys if I've made a complete straight mask yet I am still in the works of trying to make that complete straight mask because these pleats they don't stay together and the pins are not helping and I is you see how I'm struggling just trying to like keep it down it, it's it's a, it's a lot it's a lot but anyway after you put your pleats in you want to pin them so you can go to the sewing machine and sew them down Okay, divas now we want to sew those pleats down um i just want to share a tip with you guys you want to make sure that you're using a needle that's either 80 90 or 100 to make sure you are able to go through all of the layers of the pleats um i learned this the hard way my sewing machine kept stopping i kept having to re-thread my sewing machine every time because the needles and the thread were not cooperating with each other because of the thickness of the fabric so i just wanted to share that tip with you guys so you won't go through that Okay, you want to sew around the edge of the mask. You want to make sure that you are keeping the gap that you had to turn the mask inside out together as you sew around because that will be how you close it up. Okay, divas there you have it we're gonna cut off all the extra thread and you will have you a face mask once it's all cleaned up i want to go ahead and shout out to joann's for partnering with me in creating these masks joann's will provide fabric elastic and interface for any sewer who will love to make masks once you finish making the mask they'll donate them to a hospital I was inspired so I decided to make masks on my own and donate them within my own community and I can say between doing that and Joann's I've donated over 50 masks. Every time someone purchased one of my masks I donate ma a mask to a essential worker. So I want to thank everybody that has donated to my cause and helped me change my community one mask at a time. I still have plenty of orders and plenty more masks to make to donate and i encourage each and every sewer to get behind their sewing machine and do the same let's donate to our communities you guys let's unite during this time i love you guys i thank you for watching i'm keeping all of you guys in my prayers shout out to my mom and my son they have been excellent troopers during this time and shout out to you guys for not abandoning me i haven't been able to post on youtube like that but you guys haven't left me so thank you and remember that fashion is a trend you guys and style come on y'all y'all know that's life That's for me. I just wanted to do something for you guys. Oh, wow. For, okay. you know, still being out here. Have a good one. My name is Absalom.
Atoms? Yes. Okay. A-T-O-M? A-T-I-M. A-T-I-M. You're welcome. My father's Nigerian. You. Yes. I, I wasn't. I, he didn't teach me the language. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I saw this, I'll tell her it's not bad. You're welcome. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Stay safe.